So these are the grade boundaries for the Edexcel GCSE uh, Maths Foundation 9 to 1 paper. Uh, as you know, I'm sure there's the three papers for the 1F, 2F and 3F, whereas 1F is the non-calculator paper and 2F and 3F are the calculated papers, uh, each of them being out of 80. So what we've got here, we've got it going back to when the 9 to 1 uh, GCSE started, so back to the summer of 2017. And you can see for each one, we've got the marks out of 80 you needed to get a 5 a f or a 4, which are obviously the pass marks, but also a 3, a 2, or a 1. Okay. Uh, the bold type numbers, they, they, they fix the values for, for level 4 and level 1, I think it is. So by definition, those three individual papers will add up to the 142. That isn't always necessarily the case when you're adding up the other columns. The individual papers may be one or two off the total. So where that happens, if I were you, I would just concentrate on the total mark you needed. Okay, uh, And then, uh, as you can see, and for each of them, I've then just popped in up a percentage at the bottom to give you a, a guide for what percentages you needed. Uh, the numbers in red is the uh, cross-referencing into my... Um, my, my videos or how I filed those are on YouTube. Uh, now, uh, as you can see, these have got locked written against them. At the time of writing, so 30th of October, uh, the, the uh, Edexcel have still got all the 2019 papers locked. Okay, So the most up-to-date one you'll see on YouTube from me are these numbers 10, 11 and 12. Once these have been unlocked by... Um, Pearson's you know, at Excel, I, I, I will put these on, on the system as well. So I hope that's uh, useful for you.